Namaste, welcome everyone. My name is Cassandra and I'm going to take you through a 15 minute yin yoga practice that you can do at the end of the day to help with sore muscles. This is day six of the evening yoga movement. If you're new, you can just enjoy this video on its own, but I would really love for you to join us for the entire 30 day challenge. It's completely free. All classes are 15 minutes long and you can sign up by clicking the link down below. No props required and we're going to begin in deer pose, a really great stretch for the inner thighs and inner groin. So I'm just going to turn to make it a little bit easier for you to see here. You can roughly align your right shin so it's parallel to the top of the mat. And then you're going to bring your left knee in line with your hip and then your left shin is in line with the long edge of the mat. So you have two 90 degree angles with your knees and you want to make sure both knees are directly in line with your hips. Once you have this, we're trying to find an internal hip rotation by pressing that left hip down and start to walk your hands back. So you're kind of in a diagonal here. And this for me is an area of tightness, so I don't really need to go very far in order to feel the sensation, but you might be more comfortable coming down on your forearms or even laying down flat on your back. We're going to be in the pose for about a minute and a half, two minutes or so. So no need to really push yourself too far here. Just find whatever appropriate amount of sensation is best for you. This is your chance to let go of the day you've had, to prepare for a great night's rest. So really embrace this opportunity to do a little bit less and to relax from head to toe. And our affirmation for this practice tonight is deep within me there is an infinite source of love deep within me there is an infinite source of love stay with your breath as we hold the pose Push into your hands so you can lift your chest. Before we go and do this on the other side, you can straighten your right leg and bring that left thigh in. We'll come into half shoelace pose. So go ahead and cross your left leg over your right one. We're trying to stack our left knee on top of the right. And you can bring that heel and your toes as close in towards your hips as possible. And you already from doing this might be able to feel a stretch in your calves and in the back of the legs, maybe stay here. Or we're gonna intensify this by folding forward. Don't be alarmed if you can't go very far in this one either. This is a really intense stretch, but absolutely amazing if you have sore muscles in your legs, in your hamstrings. Really great to do at the end of the day. So find the edge that works the best to you. And you might internally repeat to yourself the affirmation, using it as an anchoring point, and just staying with your breath as you melt into it here.
Walk your hands in, slow and steady, we uncurl. Then you can straighten both legs out in front of you. Just feel the difference. And we'll find our deer pose on the second side. So this time you're bending your left knee, getting your shin parallel to the top of the mat. Bring that right leg back so you have your right knee in line with your hip, your shin in line with the long edge of your mat. And think of pressing your right hip down. And instead of leaning directly back to the back of my mat, I'm kind of in a diagonal. And try to relax your thighs a little more. And go to whatever edge is appropriate. We're looking for a nice stretch through the inner groin and inner thigh, but some people feel this more in the outer glute, which is perfectly fine as well. Feel your breath travel all the way down, low into your belly. Gonna ease out of this one so we can make our way to half shoelace on the other side. So lifting up first, and then you can straighten your left leg, carefully bring that right thigh and leg back. See if you can cross your right knee so it's aligned over the top of the left one, and bringing your heel and your foot in towards you. And already on this side, I'm feeling it especially in the calf and in the ankle. And you can start to walk your hands out in front of you as you fold. No pushing, no pulling, no forcing our way into a pose. This is more of an act of surrender and releasing. Deep within me, there is an infinite source of love. And go ahead and lift up. Take your time, unwrap the legs. Just shaking it out a little bit here. And it might feel good just to bring your hands back behind you. Think of lifting your chest and squeezing your elbows towards one another. And we'll give our lower body a bit of a break, focusing now on our shoulders and upper back. Coming into thread the needle pose, so starting from hands and knees, you're going to reach your right arm underneath you until your shoulder and your ear lower down to the mat. Once you're here, push out into your right hip and you might keep your left hand as it is 
or you can reach your left arm up overhead. You're kind of pushing into both arms and both hands. And the more you can reach your hips to the right, the more you'll feel this through your upper back. And for some, it's felt more in the shoulder and even a little bit into the bicep. Try to relax your neck. And just hold the twist. Slide your left hand back, push into the floor to lift back up, tabletop pose, just feel the effects. We'll move and do the same thing on the other side. So this time your left arm reaches through, the further you get that arm, the deeper you're gonna feel this one. And now press out into your left hip and choose where you'd like to place your right hand and arm. So you might keep the palm close towards your face, or you might straighten the arm as if you're reaching up overhead. Let's slide our right hand back down, push into the floor, carefully come out of the pose. And go ahead and just tuck your toes under. We'll take a little toe squat so you're sitting your hips on your heels. This can feel very intense. If it's too much, just keep your toes pointed back. But this is really good to do, especially at the end of the day. And we're just going to take our time here, stretch out the wrist just a little bit. You can reach your right arm forward palm is open and you can just use your left hand to pull the four fingers back try to keep your thumb straight and reaching out press your shoulders down keep reaching out through your thumb and now to stretch the thumb specifically you're going to reach your left hand under the right grab a hold of your thumb keep opening the rest of your fingers and instead of pulling down with your thumb think of pulling it towards the outer edge of your form and letting it go Second side, left hand reaches forward, grab a hold of the four fingers with the right palm and draw them back. Push your left shoulder down, try to keep your thumb reaching out and lengthened. It is difficult to keep the thumb perfectly straight, so don't worry if it curls a little bit. And we'll stretch the thumb specifically. So right hand under, grab a hold of your thumb and pull it back towards the left side of your forearm. 
Keep spreading the other fingers wide, opening your hand. You should be feeling it in your toes. Breathe into the intensity. It'll feel really good once we release in just a moment. And let it go. Roll out the wrists. It should feel really nice here. Rock forward. Point your toes back. And come to take a seat in any way that is suitable for you. Feel your spine lengthen up tall. Join your hands at your heart. Let's close tonight's yin yoga practice with the chant of Om one time. Inhale to chant, big breath in. Namaste. Thank you so much for doing day six of the evening yoga movement with me. Leave me a comment down below. Use the hashtag good evening so I know you made it to the end of tonight's practice. And hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow night for day seven. I would love for you to just take five minutes and do this affirmation meditation. Please do subscribe to my channel to support free yoga on the internet. You can do so just by clicking the subscribe button right here. Thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow.